All right, slowing the curve of COVID-19 remains a top concern across the nation. The latest numbers from Georgia still high, but holding steady since yesterday show that 597,208 confirmed cases and 9,966 deaths. And in Florida, there are now one more than a million, 1.4 million to be exact, cases confirmed so far since the pandemic started with more than 22,300 deaths. This is a live look at the state's dashboard tonight. You can see just how those cases continue to come in. The deaths going down though, so that is a good sign. And we are seeing people across Florida start to get vaccinated. Statewide, community leaders are teaming up to make sure that no one gets left behind. ABC 27's Veronica Vernaccio joins us live from FAMU now. And Veronica, how is a local pastor helping with the efforts? Well, Channing, Dr. Barbie Holmes is not only the pastor at Bethel Missionary Baptist Church here in Tallahassee, but he's also the chair of this new statewide task force encouraging black and minority communities to get the COVID-19 vaccine. We know, unfortunately and sadly, that people of color are dying disproportionately. A reality pastor, Dr. R.B. Holmes, says has only increased. But with news of the new COVID-19 vaccine, Holmes sees hope and opportunity. He, along with 50 others from faith, university, and healthcare leaders, are working together to create a statewide task force. Educate communities of color uh, in the state of Florida about the vaccine, uh, such that they can make informed decisions and, and actually get the uh, vaccine shot. The group plans to get up to 70% of the black and minority communities vaccinated in Florida. They're putting health clinics in 25 cities for vaccine distribution, with their biggest partners being historically black colleges and universities like Florida A&M University. It's getting, you know, the HBCUs as hubs for vaccination sites as well. We have the credibility in our communities. Dr. Holmes says having FAMU represented in the task force is necessary to build trust, something he says is needed for people to get the vaccine. This one battle that we cannot sit out. Uh, the group said in the meeting today that they also plan to go to the governor and legislators to try to get them to pass laws that are going to provide health care to communities that are in need battling the coronavirus. But for now, reporting live at FAMU, Veronica Vernaccio, ABC 27.